Hi Maria, this is Nancy and I'm going to first wake up Shorty. He's, he's a little hard of hearing. Shorty! Hello. <laughs> oh my god, it's done a lot of bed. You had asked whether his fur had grown back. Um, it has grown back. Let's show them. Let's show them. He's already purring on this side nicely. But he continues to have the issue of pulling out his fur. Um, and he's very, very dirty in the litter box. So we give him baths. I'm just trying to show you that area there is like where he pulls it out. And his feet are always covered in litter because he is super messy in the litter box. Oh, let's see your neck. Let's see your neck where they removed your little fatty tumor. So he still has a little shaved area and a scab there. Oh, and he has um, areas of patchiness here because that's where he pulls out his fur. You can see back in his back leg. I'm sorry, Shorty. I know you want to be pet. So he's a little bit of a mess, messy cat, messy looking. Um, you know, with all the poopy, poopiness on his legs all the time, and I don't know if you can see it very well. He's purring away, and with his own pulling out of his fur, so he's doing it on his tail too. We always find clumps of fur just all over his room, and he's very, very messy with his litter box. Just, we have to clean it, you know, throughout the day, many times a day. Huh. What do you think? And still just does like little teeny poops. Um, and the, oftentimes on the shelves even. Um, you know, we still feel he has an odd gait. The vet just thinks it's from age. And possibly he's a little arthritic. But sometimes he seems tender on his backside here. You can see he's pretty narrow. So that's the scoop of our messy boy. Feeling better, gaining back weight which is great, and eating better, but still a little bit of a work in progress, so I'm gonna give him a bath, um, bath today. Shorty now. <laughs>